For the first time ever, we found a modern sports car left abandoned to rot. And the main question you may be asking is why? Well, to be honest, I don't know, but in this video, we're gonna try to figure it out. But for those of you who aren't familiar, this is a Scion FRS. And Scion was a Japanese car company that went out of business back in August of 2016. Now, the first thing that I noticed that makes no sense why you'd even abandon this car, these wheels are made by the brand Sparco, and I highly doubt that they're inexpensive. So it just doesn't make too much sense to me. But if you guys have any theories of why it was left to sit, leave a comment, we're curious what you think. But luckily to get it on our trailer, we were told that it runs. So after putting a fresh battery in it, we started it up. And we were able to load it up on our trailer. And while we load it up, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, if you're not, we're trying to hit 700,000 subscribers because we have something coming that nobody on the internet has ever done. Now with it back at our shop, we were able to start getting the grime off this thing and detailing it. So the first thing we did was vacuum it out of the jams. That way it wasn't gonna be running all over the car while we were washing it and it wasn't gonna get all over our shop floor. <laughs> We want to take a quick second and say thank you to this video sponsor, Avalon King, with their Armor Shield Light Fast Ceramic Spray. Now, one thing that I really enjoy about ceramic sprays is how easy it is to put on. It's as simple as washing the car, and then after you're washing it, spraying it on the panel and wiping it down. The funny thing is, with Avalon King, we had actually ignored their emails for months. And it took us to be referred to them by our good friend Robbie Layton who said that we should actually contact them and give their products a try because he believed in them. One thing I've really appreciated about Avalon King is our communication and the authenticity which is something that you all should look for in a brand. The way that they have treated us is any inkling towards the way that they treat their customers. I can safely say that you guys should purchase these products from them because they are not only making great car care products but they're great people. The cool thing with Armor Shield Light is you can put it on wet, dry, or hot or cold which means that you can save yourself a step Right after you rinse off all the soap, spray Armor Shield on and protect and dry the car at the same time, which makes the water flow right off. Right now, you guys can buy one and get one free. That means two bottles for the price of one using our link in the description below. It really supports us, it supports Avalon King and allows us to do these cool details absolutely for free. And I'm actually going to be using this on the Scion to protect the fresh paint and to get it prepped and ready for me and Mike's trip to Washington, DC. We're gonna be driving it all the way to, to Washington. So it needs to be protected and we're gonna do that using Avalon King Armor Shield Light. And with that being said, thank you to Avalon King for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to the detail. And now we're gonna go ahead and get to cleaning these Sparco rims. And I think looking at golden rims, a lot of people have different opinions on them. Either they really like them or they really don't. How do you guys feel about them? Leave it in the comments below. All right, you're just cleaning this wheel, and whatever this is, just came out of the lugs. What is that, Mike? Dude, I don't know what that is, but I was always told, I don't know, as a kid, like that bug with the fangs come out of its butt, like goes in your ear and makes you deaf. Like that's what I actually always <laughs> heard, so I don't know what that thing is, but I hate that thing. What, and when you're sleeping? I, yeah, 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 yeah. Where'd it go? He just fell, he's down here now. Oh. It's an ugly little bugger. What is that? If you guys know what that is, comment it below. But gross bugs aside, it's time to actually start washing the car off. So we started with a pre-rinse degreaser, and then we were able to pressure wash all the sap and dirt away. And a lot of you guys seem to have a common question about our flooring underneath the tile flooring you can see here, and how we keep that clean. And basically, we just pull the flooring up every few months, and we really give it a good cleaning, and then we put it back down.
And always make sure if those jams are super dirty, you give it a good clean. We used a greaser. You could also just use soap too and a brush. Don't forget on every detail to make sure you get behind that gas door because it could be very dirty and easy to miss. And I know some of you might like spiders, some of you might not, but this web's gotta go. And I've never had an FRS, but I don't think the 86 badge came on it, so I'm assuming this is an up badge. Now while we're cleaning the front end, I want you guys to pay attention to two different things. I want you to watch the front bumper and I want you to watch the PPF that's on the hood. This may be a little foreshadowing, but there were some issues in the near future. Now, if you know what engine's in this car, leave it in the comments. But again, this engine looks pretty clean. So why this car was abandoned, I just don't know.
Somebody must have really loved this FRS because they have a partial PPF on the front end as well as the mirror caps, but over time it's looking pretty, pretty ratty and messed up. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off, remove all the adhesive and then polish underneath. Easiest way to do this with PPF that isn't cracked is to just use heat and pull. All right, everyone. So as you can see, the FRS is going back on the trailer, but it is not going back to the initial owner. I actually own this car now. And the reason being is because when we were taking off the PPF, I should have known better that 10 year old PPF can do damage to the clear coat because of the length of time that the PPF has been there, the way that the adhesive slowly eats through the paint. It actually is detrimental if you leave it on for too long. So Anyways, in the process of trying to remove it, I ended up leaving a ton of glue on the paint as well as uh, peeling off some clear coat on the quarter panel. I got some of the bumper as well. You can see right here, we're missing a lot of, of paint at this point. So anyways, today the car is going to my good friend Dave who has a body shop and he is going to be repainting pretty much the full front end of the car. Uh, and then I'm going to find some replacement back seats as well as a head unit for the interior of the vehicle. And uh, I'm gonna fix this thing up and I'm gonna drive it because it's in pretty good shape overall, except for this paintwork that I have to do. And um, I didn't plan on buying an FRS, but uh, I don't know, you can't plan everything in life. So proud new owner. All right, so as you guys can see, the passenger seat in this FRS is gone. We were able to get it out, but unfortunately on the driver's seat, we have two bolts that are seized and not only are they seized, but they also are a very particular type of head. I believe they're called uh, E-Torx. It seems as if the previous owner of this vehicle tried to use a socket and rounded off the flanges. So there's nothing for our socket to bite down on, even though we have the correct socket. And we had to make a decision of whether trying to get out the seat or not really makes sense, because at this point, we're probably gonna have to re-thread and, and put a whole new bolt in altogether. So we decided that's not the greatest idea for us. So we are just going to work around the driver's seat and then obviously clean up underneath the passenger seat. So you win some and uh, today we lost one. So this is actually a good time for us to still teach you guys something when you can't get the seats out of a car, but you wanna make sure it's as clean as possible. If you have access to an air compressor, all you need is a hose and a tornador attachment, and you're able to shoot that compressed air under the seat and blow everything out from underneath it. So you're gonna see us doing that, and it's gonna help us get all of that crap out underneath. The torner door is also great for thinner carpeting with smaller fibers, so you'll see here all that sand that it's holding on to, it's easy to blow it away. Then for the seats, what we'll do is we'll vacuum them first, then use the tornador again, which is why it's so universal. And then we'll use some carpet cleaning soap, a drill brush, and our extractor. And if you guys are interested in any products or tools you see us using in our videos, it's all in the description below.
Now for all the vinyl interior pieces, we're using a product called TriClean and a super soft bristle brush and it's gonna get everything super clean. And another cool thing we got to do was replace the shifter boot with one that looked way nicer that was already in the car. So with very little work, we made it look so much better. Now this car didn't have a back seat, so RJ figured he'd buy one and put it in and it made such a big difference. There also wasn't a front badge, so again, we replaced that as well. And the final step of the detail was take Avalon King's Armor Shield Light and protect the entire car's paint with it, which you'll see left a very nice shine and gave it some protection, and this car was good to go. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like it. It really helps us out, and we'll see you guys in the next one.